Hi dear, I am Dr. Praveen Kaur Gupta, and this videos are a series only made for you. Learning histopathology is never easy, and you have always been so worried about it, but no further here on. So in this series that I am starting, I am looking for the understanding of the histology first, and based on the normal histology, I will talk about histopathology, and not only that, we will also have the entire features clinically and how to diagnose them. Well, guys, if you are ready with it. Ensure that you watch the video completely, and before you go to it, like the video and subscribe to my channel. Let's start it discussing and learning the view era of histopathology. Hi. In this video, we'll talk about a gall bladder. Gall bladder actually is important in storing the bile. So what the bile which comes from the liver is stored by in the gallbladder and then by the muscle contraction and the appearance of CCK, it gives all the bile to the intestine for digestion process. Let's look at the histology of the gallbladder. Well, you all might be knowing a gallbladder's unique histology because it is one of those GID layer which does not have the submucosal area. So it definitely has a mucosa and straight away without the submucosa, it is a muscle layer and then comes a the serosal layer. The gallbladder has a lining epithelium which is a Columnar epithelium, then straight away comes the muscle layer in a circular outer longitudinal. Look at the longitudinal muscle layer. This is a muscle layer, this is a lining epithelium, and then comes the serosal layer. Again, repeat lining epithelium, muscle in a circular outer longitudinal, and then comes the layer of the serosal layer. Let's compare this finding to what happens in a chronic cholecystitis. So, chronic or acute cholecystitis, number one, if it is acute cholecystitis, it must show you neutrophil infiltration in the mucosa and some mucosa. The finding of this will be a acute shearing pain in the upper right hypochondrium. Now, this may also extend to the right shoulder. This very important pain finding in the gallbladder, that is the cholecystitis. When it moves to the chronic cholecystitis, what happens? The entire mucosa and submucosa infiltrated by a huge number of lymphocytes. This dense lymphocytic infiltrates here. The dense lymphocytic infiltration that is occurring here, this whole thing is actually what is a finding of chronic cholecystitis. Let me again repeat it for you. This is actually lining epithelium. This is lining epithelium. Okay. And look at this layer. This whole layer from here to here is actually the lymphocytes. These all are lymphocytes. Now, what happens sometimes is because of chronic inflammation, there is often an evidence of fibrosis. This fibrosis is actually the muscle layer. That's what pushes or pulls the entire mucosa, the epithelium layer, lower down and make a cyst here. The cyst is actually called as Rokitansky Ash of Sinuses. It's called Rokitansky ash of sinuses. So, finding of the chronic cholecystitis would be, number one, the lining epithelium may be destroyed, number two, dense lymphocytes in the mucosa submucosa, and number three, can show you this ash of sinuses. Look at this sinus, this one, this, this ash of sinus, and this ash of sinus here is what you see in a case of a chronic cholecystitis. This finding often is seen with the stones. The stones in the gallbladder can be a pigmented stone, it can be a cholesterol stone, or can a mixture called as mixed stone. Well, if you remember, the more common stone here is a mixed stone than a cholesterol stone. A little common is a pigmented stone often seen in because when it is in it is seen in the vascular hemolysis. So, very important finding of chronic cholecystitis. Remember, it can show you this Rokitansky ash of sinuses, which is due to pulling of these glands below down because of fibrosis in the golf bladder. I hope you like this video. I was able to explain to you the normal anatomy, histopathology, and you could understand the entire thing out. If you really like this video, ensure that you put your comments in the section below so I can put more videos to you in the upcoming days. Waiting for your comments. God bless you all. Keep hustling, keep studying, and do the best of your abilities. Bye bye.